everybody. Well, I think it's been maybe a little over a month since I made my last video. And there's been quite a few things happen. Well, not quite a few. You know, my life's boring. So, but I will tell you, I just got back from a wake. A lady in our church died Saturday, and um, she had breast cancer. In fact, <clears throat> we both had breast cancer at the same time. Hers was invasive, and mine wasn't. And, you know, she, she really fought a good fight. And, uh, you know, she had chemo and radiation, and it spread. You know, she was such a sweet woman, and uh, I really didn't want to go down there. But, you know, her family is a big family in our church, and I've known them for decades. And it just wouldn't have been right of me to not go down there and pay my respects, you know. So I just got back from that. I, I just hate cancer. I hate the, even the word cancer. There's a good YouTube friend of a lot of us that has really struggled with her cancer, and she's in the hospital right now. Her name's Dolores, so for those of you that pray, would you please say a little prayer for Dolores? Uh, she's really had a time, and it started out as breast cancer. But I just hate that word. It has no respect of persons. They don't care if you're two or three years old or 70. You know, it's just an evil disease. I just hate it. But anyway, I want to talk about James' work. Um, not this Friday. But next Friday is James's last day of work. And it's hard every day he gets up and has, it goes out. And it gets, it's so hard for him to get up. Because especially, see, since the last time I talked to you is the company he works for has filed bankruptcy. And they paid James and them a week early. And now it's going to be three weeks. This week's three weeks that he's not got paid. Everything's in the courts, and um, they've been working like crazy. I mean, James has worked more Saturdays since they went bankrupt than he has all year, practically. And it's mandatory overtime, which, you know, I don't like James working overtime. It's so hard for him just to go out every day and work a shift, you know, much less have to get up on a Saturday and go out and work, you know, but he says he'll survive and, you know, it, but it is so hard on him and, you know, if the company going bankrupt, they're going to, it's going to affect our insurance and just the coal industry as a whole, everybody's went bankrupt and, you know, I could go off on a tangent about that, how, you know, we've been left in the dust by the government, that was all their plan, but I won't. But, you know, James doesn't know. He knows that he'll get some of his pension, but he doesn't know how much because they're thinking about dropping their pensions because they don't have enough money in the fund, and especially with these companies going bankrupt. What they're doing is they're going to court, and they're trying their best to have the judge throw out these promises they made. And, you know, they're not going to pay into the BCOA and all that. And so the fund has a finite amount of money in it. And, uh, you know, it's going to affect James. Now, as far as insurance goes, we may not have a drop of insurance when he quits. But we may have insurance. It's just, you know, it's worrisome. And um, James is tired. He's tired of working and... I just don't know what's going to happen. I just have to trust the Lord and just, we've always made it. Like I've said a hundred times on the video, we have always made it and we always will make it. And, uh, but we're both thrilled that James is getting ready to retire. He has the, it makes me want to cry. He deserves it so much. He really does. And I don't want to cry. <laughs> So I'll get onto a subject that's both uh, right enraging and funny, <laughs> and I bet y'all can guess what it is. It's that stupid car of James's. Well, you know, the last time I made a video, he, he was not working, and well, he got to running. He got it to running, and in fact, he'll take it for. He went down to the courthouse, and he got the title changed. He got insurance on it. 
got his license, and um, so he's been taking it for little trips down the post office and up the ho main hall of road, you know. Well, Saturday, he had work, but he got up early that morning, and he said, I'm going to take that car, which I was asleep, but he had already told me he wanted to do it all week. Take the car up to the garage, and that's about, I'd say, 15 minutes from here, and get a big inspection sticker on it. Well, when he got up there, honey, he shut the car off, and it would not start again. It would not start. Now, you know he just wanted to call home and tell me that. You know what I mean? Well, I finally got up. I usually get up about 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock. And, you know, the phone rang. And honestly, if I don't recognize that number, or if it's not the hospital or something, I don't answer the phone. I really don't. Well, I looked over at the TV because it comes up on the TV. And I didn't recognize that number, and I thought, well, I'm not going to pick that up. But I said, no, James is gone. It might be James, you know. So I picked it up, and that's who it was. And he said, honey, I need you to come and get me. <laughs> now, you know he wanted to make that phone call. He'd already called a wrecker. And by the time I got up there... The wrecker was already hooked the car up, and he could have rode home. You know, he thought maybe I wouldn't come and get him. <laughs> but I did. I went and got him. And, you know, he just looked at me, and I didn't say a word. And, you know, he knew I was upset. That stinking car. I hate that thing. I hate it. I do. I hate it. But anyway, the wrecker followed us home, and honey, the wrecker pulled up, and, and that my, my Jeep had went back into the garage for a day or two. Well, they he backed it up in the driveway, and honey pushed it right into the garage. And there it said, I don't think James, is, <laughs> I don't think James has went out there to work on it, but he will when, once he retires. You know, he told me, he said, I just don't have time to go out there and pity pat at it for an hour or two before I go to work, and he doesn't. He don't want to anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just another $85 that I've added to the total of that money pit out there. But he'll get it running. There's something... He got it running. He changed fuses in it and did wires, and it got to running. But James says it seems like when it heats up or gets going real good, it don't want to restart once you stop it. I don't know. But anyway, honey, my son, he had this uh, genealogy. It's not genealogy. It is genetic, maybe, DNA. He had this DNA test run on him. Well, they take saliva from your mouth, you know, and <clears throat> he paid a hundred dollars to have his test run to see what his ancestry was and stuff. This company used to do health, you know, they could tell you if you were uh, had a chance of getting colon cancer, you know, you know what I mean. But the federal, the Food and Drug Administration stopped him from doing that because they said that was a medical test. But so they still do the DNA and genes and all that, as you know. Well, it come back that James' side of the family didn't have any royalty in it, or um, and it's a real young bloodline. Excuse me. Now, I don't know much about genetics and stuff like that, but and I know some Christians believe that... Uh, Humans have only been here 6,000 years, but, you know, if you've got any sense about you at all, you know that's not true. But, anyway, James's bloodline went back like 18,000 years. They could trace it back to 18,000 years. Mine went back like 80,000 years. And it told that uh, Marie Antoinette and Napoleon and Prince Philip of England... All of them was in my bloodline, you know. So all day that day, I went, I, every time I'd look at James, I'd say commoner. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I teased him all day that day. And uh, even my bloodline supposedly goes all the way back to St. Luke of the Bible. You know. 
Now, how they can tell that, I don't know. Apparently, the Vatican's supposed to have St. Luke's bones. I don't know, but anyway, it was fun and interesting, and, um, you know, I could tease James a little bit about it, but uh, really, there's not been much more happening around here, you know. James will be retiring in two weeks, and... And I'm sure that I'll be able to get him on videos quite a bit, maybe, you know, once he retires and stuff. But uh, I wanted to get on here. It's a Monday. So maybe Rock will get, will make a Tuesday vlog because she's not been on for a long time either. And uh, but it's so good to see Judy when she makes a video. And, you know, DC, he's hanging right in there, Dago Cleo. He's... <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to get on here real quick and make a little vlog, and um, when James retires, I'll get him on here, and uh, we'll talk to you guys. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope, they have, I hope you have a great week, and I'll be back shortly. <laughs> this is Melissa reporting. I about forgot what I was going to say. This is Melissa reporting from Up in the Holler. Bye, everybody.